Dear international students, here you finally are, at the very best place of Flanders, KU Leuven, a humble yet very old university, the oldest of Benelux, the largest one, and also, let's be honest, probably the best. Again, you're very welcome. You will enjoy a beautiful evening here and a long night with a lot of eating, drinking and dancing. And of course, with the world famous, marvelous disc jockey, Mr. Yukuman or something like that. Maybe his name is slightly different, but everybody knows him. There will also be a very difficult quiz and the winner will have a free ticket to a European capital, for instance to exotic places like Amsterdam, Charleroi or Antwerp. May your dreams come true. And of course, what's the purpose of this evening? There is no purpose at all, just network, enjoy and find maybe the love of your life. Hospitality is tremendously important to us and in order to receive international students in a friendly and decent way we organize a lot of activities including the orientation days at the beginning of the academic year. Guided tours through Leuven are part of it but also information, meeting moments and other activities. Apart from that we have the so-called buddy program where a Flemish student takes care of an um, international one. I have contact with Helen before uh, through email and through the emails uh, she helped me to find my room in Lufen so I'm really thanks to Helen. You're welcome. <laughs> I think it's also interesting to get to know uh, other international friends because you learn their culture and you also through the international friends, you also learn your own culture because they ask things about you that you actually don't even think about. You just think, yeah, it's normal. But when they ask you, you're like, yeah, actually, why don't I, why do I do it like that? We also have our international student center, Pangaya, offering a lot of activities with regard to fashion and culture. Pangea was a home away from home. It was close to my faculty. Uh, it had free coffee. It had, it had everything a student could look for. I, I would walk into Pangea and feel as I am part of a community without talking to anyone, without having to say anything. And the beauty of that was it's not only for international students. I met a lot of Flemish students through Pangea, at Pangea. So, in case you would like to drink coffee until that follows, only one solution the Pangaya Center. a true university today is by definition international. There are no borders, no frontiers, no intellectual frontiers, no physical frontiers. And that means that students are coming in from abroad and uh, Belgian students are studying also in other countries and continents. And that makes that um, we have an international flavor and at the same time we identify our own peculiar thought and behavior. It's by being in contact with others that you know who you are yourself. And the other way around, others can be helped to discover who they are and can be helped also to achieve many beautiful things once they are back in their own country. 
Vlir US is the most important provider of funds for university cooperation projects in Flemish higher education. Um, we support partnerships between universities and university colleges in Flanders and the South, looking for innovative responses to local and global challenges. So we fund cooperation projects between professors, academics, researchers, teachers, and we also award scholarships to academics and professionals both in Flanders and the South. And finally, we try to strengthen higher education in the South. We also try to trigger and support internationalization and globalization of higher education in Flanders because sharing of minds, the exchange of information, experiences, ideas, knowledge must lead to changing life for the better for the people in the South. This is what we aim at. invest into educational programs in Flanders that are research-based and that deal with topics that are relevant to development. Um, those programs are sought by academics, Flemish academics, international academics that are heavily involved in research and education projects in the South. So actually the course has really helped me, you know, to improve my skill both as a teacher, as a lecturer, and then be able to produce something much more interactive for my students when I get back home to Nigeria. So I, I've learned a lot actually, uh, upgraded my skills in ICT, specifically in video production. Also uh, on the use of educational videos in terms of teaching and integrating it with the lessons that uh, I can do with my classes back home. I remember when I was in my country doing a presentation or something else, you feel like, ah, doing this presentation is too much. But when you come here, presentations is the order of the day, you start liking it, and uh, the experience here is really good. International master programs are clear examples of the added value of bringing people together from all kinds of different backgrounds and all being confronted with local or global challenges. Yeah, working with uh, people from different na nationalities and you know, um, interacting with them is an amazing experience for me, more than strange, because um, so far, like, I think we have a very, like, students from Africa, Latin America, Central Asia, and I'm from South Asia, so it's a huge, mixed, diverse group, and there's always, like, constant communication and sharing of knowledge going on. Education is a driver for economical and societal innovation and I think that in Flanders we have a lot of expertise uh, related to university education. Uh, why do we need innovation? Because they can provide the response to global and local challenges if you think about uh, food security, if you think about public health. Uh, we have a lot of expertise that we can share with people from the south. Professor always synchronizes the theory with the practical application, what are the going on in the industry. They're always trying to link up. Uh, I think that it is very urgently needed that we train students from the south to reach that master degree, or to obtain that master degree, and even to obtain uh, PhD uh, degrees. Yeah, for me, this period, I've so fallen in love with nematology, and I would want to continue in that line. Like, I hope to get a PhD, but most importantly, I see 
there is the need to transfer knowledge. So I would be interested in going back to my country, multiply the knowledge I've received. If afterwards they can uh, go back to their country, uh, I think they can make a difference in their country that makes the evolution and uh, the progress of the university programs very sustainable for the years to come.